Wow, I feel like I've got to know you. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today I am joined with Rhiannon. Hi. And we are going to be comparing our university experiences, looking at law versus psychology. We've kind of got like a few topics that we want to cover. So I guess we're just going to jump straight into it. I found because we are in a college, it was really organized. Like we had like set club nights every week. We have this thing here called sticks, like second and third year contact. So you had like someone like looking after you all week, which was really nice. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed my freshest week, but it, it was, madness i was sticking this year so we basically had the same freshers week yeah and i feel like this year was a lot worse than my year because i feel like in my year a lot of people went out but like not nothing really happened that was that bad whereas in your year i feel like there was ambulances on the first night do you remember it because i don't really remember it to be honest <laughs> i do remember it to be fair and i thought like the club nights all just kind of blurred into each other but we had some nights where we like stayed in and like socialised with other flats and I thought that was like really good. It does blur though, like the mm. only thing I actually remember is we went to Fibbers and like... Fibbers. Do you not like it? No. Oh my gosh, what, it's closing down Disgusting, now. yeah, <laughs> it's gone. The, ba the bathrooms were disgusting. Yeah, no, no, to be fair, they're like dripping from the ceiling, yeah. it is horrible. In my first year, that was like my favourite club night and I remember there was me and my other two flatmates and our stick and we basically just like forced them to be there until four in the morning oh my God. and went for it. Although having been a stick now, I realise how much hell that is, having to stay <laughs> until like four in the morning. Yeah, because you have all your um, lectures still, don't you? Yeah, stick. and especially when people like, the, st the flat that I had when I was sticking, they just kept running off and going to other clubs. So it's like kind of corral yeah. people, because you feel like such a responsibility mm. to not let anyone be in an ambulance. I yeah, I'm thinking of sticking next year to be fair. I think it'd be fun. Yeah. And like seeing it from a more sober standpoint would be good. Yeah, because it's more fun as well. I think you learn to like go to do club nights over. Yeah, I really need to learn to do that. I keep saying tonight I'm not going to drink and then I'll have like one drink and, and it's down from there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, like my course is not what I expected it to be because I'm, I do psychology as Chelsea said um, and I really like like social psychology, like forensic psychology, like that kind of side of it. But there's loads of really scientific like biology stuff and I'm like, oh my God, did not expect this. Yeah. Like, I didn't do A-level biology for a reason. So that's not really been my favorite, but like the stuff that I've enjoyed, like the stuff that I've liked, I've really liked. So yeah, I like it so far. That's good. The lectures are all really good as well. Do you, do you, did you do psychology? No. At any point? No, because <laughs> I kind of did law A level. I feel like because I'd done it, I knew what to expect. Mm. It was a lot more work than I expected. Yeah. I say a lot of the stuff we've done so far was in the A level and Badly works at York, which is really cool. He's like one of the main guys. Like okay. he, he's, he's a big, big important bloke. We basically just revised stuff that we already knew and then added a bit more on top. So it's been, it's not been too hard. Do you have like many lectures and stuff each week? Um, we have five two hour lectures a week. Um, and then we have like one or two tutorials a week. And then we have like research method skills stuff yeah. each week. So it's not too many hours, but it, it is still quite long, which isn't yeah. really very much compared to what I suppose you do. In first and second year, we had the PBL. So we would like have a group, would work through a problem. Then we would set our own questions, research them from textbooks ourselves. Oh, okay. That is so different. And then we'd come yeah. back and we'd discuss it. And then the lectures wouldn't really, they would just sort of like give you background information. Oh, okay. So far, like I've had mm. loads of tutorials where nobody's done any reading <laughs> and we've all been fine because they just tell us all of it anyway. When That's we get good. In. Yeah. Yeah. But then I've spent like two hours doing the reading and someone's not done it at all and we basically end up in the same position. I'm like, oh, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, because it's like that in PVL, like there are always people in a firm that do not do the work mm. and then you know they don't and you can like see them Googling it. Oh no. And then they just say something and we're all looking at them like, uh-huh, you're you don't reading know what you're that. About. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's always so annoying. Yeah. Like how are the people on your course? Like honestly, my course, all the people I've met so far seem really like like really nice. I've only met a few people. Actually, I haven't even met a few people I don't like. Like everyone is genuinely really nice and like yeah. we're all kind of like we're mostly like girls from like same sort of background, so it's quite easy to gel. Because mm. of mine it's like Especially in first year, everybody wants to be Harvey Specter, including myself. Who's he? In suits. You know who I am? My name is Harvey Specter, but I know you heard of me. Like, oh, I haven't watched. He's these. like <laughs> this like badass lawyer who like rocks around oh. in really expensive suits and is so unethical, <laughs> and everybody wants to be him. Oh. There are people in my first year who wore suits to lectures. Like they really, they cute. lived in it, right? Yeah. I th and I think due to that, like everybody's so competitive. That's really odd. Because like everybody wants training contracts or pupillages oh, yeah. and stuff. So when, especially when like 
firms come to campus, it's like swarming, trying yeah. to like fight each other all the time. Whereas I guess in your course, everyone's actually nice. It's definitely less than A level, I personally find. Um, which is really nice, but like we'll have like as I said like 20 30 pages of reading our two-hour lecture And then that's about it. So then that's like five five of those a week. It's it's not too heavy Yeah, I expect yours is a uh, much worse. Well, I think based on your study with me at least. <laughs> <laughs> I think in first and second year. Yeah, because we had like 25 hours of contact time Oh my god, that's a lot because it's like we have all the PBLs that we like have to mm. go to but like now I'm in like four hours a week Really? Yeah, and half that's lectures, which are recorded. So that's really, I'm just good. chilling. It's weird, like especially hearing you say like the A level, because I didn't do A levels. Yeah. Like oh, I did okay. like mainly B tech. Right. So for me, I was only in like six hours a week. Oh okay. And the rest of the time, I was just chilling in London. That's pretty good. Oh, that's been so fun. Yeah. <laughs> so when people talk about like oh, A level stress, I'm always like, it, they were horrible. Not along. I was in like nine till like four five days a week, it was awful, so stressful. But it's such a different environment, because I said mm -hmm. like ours, we literally came in for our classes and I could just go home. That's so nice. Which I feel like is really like uni. Mm. So that jump, I didn't really feel there yeah. was like any, but did you feel like? Yeah, so different for me. Like I, it's, I felt like my levels were basically like GCSEs all over again, just more hard, obviously. So yeah, it's been so weird, like, you know, I can go, I can go back and have lunch in my, in my kitchen between lectures or like, I can just not go and nobody's gonna chase me up. Like, it's really odd, but it's it's nice having the freedom. And like, I, hatch, I actually have to force myself to do it. Like, I have to do it because I wanna do it rather than because I have to. We're both in concert time as well. Because so, for me, I could just rock out of bed yeah. and come here because uh, we're in the law building right now. But um, yeah, I guess you've got the trek yeah, to West Campus. Yeah, I've got to get the bus every morning, so like psychology is right at the bottom of West Campus, so basically if I've got a 9am, it's basically an 8.30 because I've got to walk to the bus stop, get the bus, walk down to psychology, yeah. and then I can't really go home in between lectures if there's only, only like an hour between them because it's just like, as soon as I get back, I've got like 10 minutes or I have to go back again. Was Constantine like your first choice? Yeah, yeah, I really like Constantine. Did you just want the gap? I was like, I don't really care about the gap. Like, I was like, oh, I can walk and get my exercise. <laughs> I don't walk, but um, yeah. the accommodation is really nice. Like on East, especially, like I just, I didn't really want to have like not nice accommodation. No, that's right. Bit of a princess. Nice. That's basically why I chose Constantine yeah. as well. I was like, flat screen televisions, three quarters beds. Mm, what, exactly. what do we want? Yeah, we've, we've only had like one movie night so far. We yeah. watched Love Island together the first episode, yeah. which oh, is cute. Yeah, so when we did that in first year, actually thinking yeah. about it. But um, nobody's watched it again since. And like, I didn't know about the whole Constantine reputation as well. There's this reputation that everyone in Constantine's like really rich and their dad pays for their accommodation. And it's just like, I was really slightly surprised by it. Yeah, no, so was I, especially in Freshers Week. I don't think mm. we did it with you, but we had like chants, which were basically saying yeah, that yeah. We're, we're young, rich, we're rich, and whatever they yeah. were. Like, I was just like, don't like chanting this. The reputation of Constantine in my year was that we're all boring. Oh really? Yeah. So that's changed a lot because that's yeah. now like, what is it? Goodrick looks boring now. No, but Goodrick was like the party was one. It? Yeah. Oh my god, it's changed. Because I never thought it was. I always thought it was language of this campus because it's by the glass house. Mm. So like naturally, if you have a bar in the middle of your accommodation, yeah. you're gonna go. Langworth's mm. reputation is pretty chill. Like I is think it? Constantine's now like okay. the party college. That's good. I don't know. Apparently I live in the party block according to Chelsea as well, so... She does. It's like everybody say. in that block in my first year were always... You just see like strobe lights coming through the windows and then we were sitting there having our cups of tea, like watching Bake Off, whatever <laughs> we were doing, and we were like, mm, it's the party college. Yeah. But yeah. how is your flat? Like, do you get on with everyone? Has there been drama yet? Has there been? No, not really. I mean, I can't say I don't like them because they'll watch this. That's and true. Be, most of us get on really well and like... That's good. We're a chill flat. We have like our little groups, like basically like formed from like who's living in what houses next year. But yeah, like yeah, we we all get on. It's a good flat. Everyone got on in my first year flat pretty well. Like uh, we had this one girl. She lived with us for like two weeks, and then we never saw her, and That's she full on hated us all. And then uh -huh. she moved out. Oh, and then we got really odd. we got someone that did psychology actually, oh. and she was lovely. Oh, fair so enough. actually swings around about. Yeah, our flat is like really girl heavy as well. Like we've got twelve in our flat, and we've only got four boys. Same so mine, yeah. yeah, so it's it's quite nice for me to be fair. Like yeah, because I usually gel with girls better than guys. So I always think they're tidier, but like, do you have you found that? 
Mm. No. <laughs> Actually, no. One of the guys in my flat is so clean. Like, he'll clean all the worktops. Really? Like, it's so sweet. I'd love a flatmate like that. Yeah, our flat's actually pretty tidy, usually. It's not at the minute, because we've had, like, a birthday this weekend. So there's, like, sequins all over the kitchen and, like, <laughs> balloons and, like, little like little sequin stars treaded through the carpet in the corridor that Lovely. someone's going to need to hoover up. But yeah. Usually it's nice and tidy. Um, is your, like, current housemates tidy? Like No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> there's one that's tidy. Um... No, the rest not not so much. No, yeah, like yeah. they tidy up. It just takes them a while to get there. Yeah, yeah. Like true. I think that's fair to yeah, say. Yeah, that's pretty normal to be fair. But we have a cleaner. I think the landlord is. Oh, really? The landlord came round, and we never had a cleaner for the first like three four months. And then he came round to fix something, and then the next day he was like, "I'm going to do a cleaner for the next, <laughs> the next foreseeable that's future." That's so good, actually. Yeah. So I don't know if it's made them more or less tidy though that we have a cleaner now. It's basically yeah. like being in halls again. Cause yeah. Once a month. I was gonna say, but we we're always like we have a kitchen clean every Tuesday so on a Monday night we're all like so motivated to like like clear up the sides and like make sure everything looks nice and then on the Tuesday we like try and keep it tidy yeah. during Tuesday and then after that it gets messy again it's the fact that we all have to clean before the cleaner comes yeah because there's a thing like in halls it's the stuff mm. where you have to move basically everything off the sides which is just a pain like we yeah. had stuff on top of the like the fridges that we all always forgot to move. Oh, you have to clean on top of the fridges? We had to. Oh, we don't. Every we was just particular. I store all my tea on top of the fridge. I've got like a little section that's got like six boxes of different really? herbal teas, yeah. Oh. So it's just quite cute. Because obviously like you have your teapot and I always think it's so oh, cute. Oh, my teapot. I love my teapot. Yeah. So it explains the tea collection. Yeah, I love tea. <laughs> like, obsessed. Honestly, I've taken full advantage of it. Like, I lived, like, basically, like, in a really, really small town where there was, like, one spoons, loads of pubs full of, like, middle-aged people and a really small bar slash club. So, like, here is, like, madness to me. It's not it's not even, like, a mad night nightlife here compared to, like, other places, but I've, like, really taken advantage of it. Because that's exactly the same from, like, where I'm from. Exactly the same oh. as that. I was living in London when I was at college, but I moved just before I turned 18. Oh, okay. So I never got to go out, really, in London. Pretty much the first time I went out was when I was in Freshers' Week. Really? Yeah. Oh. So. I hadn't gone out loads before Freshers' because I turned 18 so late in the year, like, April. Then we had our exams, and then we had summer. I was too too busy to go out yeah so freshers was where i properly started like going out more yeah definitely because i feel like they're um, all closing down in york which yeah, is great <laughs> like we're gonna have like two left well last term i really liked salvos right okay but i've got a bit bored of it yeah i went too much because obviously like we have wednesday sports socials and i'm part of the netball team so i go there quite a lot so it's just got a bit boring now yeah. do you go upstairs or down um i really like upstairs but everyone else likes downstairs really? so i just end up downstairs a lot yeah because i feel like downstairs is like really busy club remixes and stuff yeah upstairs is like classical musical yeah yeah they play they play <laughs> a lot of one direction in there actually do they like. yeah. yeah i haven't been in forever but my favorite one which is controversial is mansion oh and that's close doesn't it yeah mm, i never i never made it to mansion but it was all like Hip hop and R and B. Oh, that sounds and good. I used to hand out donuts at the door. Oh, that's so it was good. a very weird club, but oh, it was good. I really wish I'd gone there because they had those Fridays as well. Those Fats, Fats Fridays, Fridays or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've got a little tote bag that says Fats Fridays on it. But it is weird. It's like in a basement, mm. and there's like a strip club upstairs. It sounds cool. It's very weird. Yeah, but it was really good. Fibbers is really sweaty. Yeah, I only I only went to that twice. Yeah, before it closed. I think it depends on the music that you like. Mm. I feel like in a way Fibbers, because it's split in two, is very similar to Salvos. Is there an upstairs? Oh no, there's the front bit and then there's the back bit, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, was. But like, yeah, was. <laughs> um, but the music styles are kind of similar to other clubs. What's left now? Because it's just Revs and Cuda, really. Yeah. I don't like Cuda. No, I don't like Cuda. Do you like Revs? Not downstairs. Oh, okay. I think it depends on like, like when you mm. go and who's there. But I feel like it just, sometimes it feels like a bit like a corridor. Because people yeah. are always walking like through the club to get mm. out to the smoking area. On a Saturday, I don't like it either because it's full of like hen parties and like people like dressed up properly for like birthdays and stuff and I'm like I'm not really here for that. I feel like you're so brave going out on locals night. I think I've never been out on locals oh, night in three years. Like, really? Yeah I just I know to avoid it I know. Oh. So I feel like there's a massive VK culture here oh, as well which massive. I don't really understand. I always end up buying them and then just regretting it because it's they don't do anything and yeah. they, they do add up. I don't know why everyone's so obsessed with VKs here. They do taste nice though. Yeah they do. My favourite's the cherry one. Really? I, I like that. I feel like I'm basic and I like the blue. I don't like the blue. The blue makes me feel sick. It, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> How much do you like go out and fur you now? 
once a month. Really? Yeah, I don't go out. Like in first year, I think I went out three times a week, mm. like two, three times a week. It was quite a lot. I think I mainly went out to like pubs and stuff in my second year, but I still went out probably twice a week. Mm. Whereas now, I never go out. Is it to get a bit boring after a while? Like, yeah, and I think so much clubbing you can do. I think there's just always like work to do. Yeah, and especially now, like all the people like I'm in a house with don't really go out that much mm. either. So we all sort of just like chill. And yeah, work. I think I'd get a lot more of my work done if I went out less for sure. Yeah, it, it really makes it hard to balance everything. Um, so what are like your exams like, like with law and like obviously you've done more than me? So in my first year, I had only had one. Second year, it was okay. the same one, but they split it into two. Oh, right. So rather than like a three hour one, I think it was two, one and a half. Hour. So we don't really have exams. Okay. I think it, we have mainly coursework, but the exams really are like, good. they're like problem like scenarios. Okay. So like, but we get our exam 48 hours in advance. So we get the paper. Oh, I've heard about that. Yeah. We just don't get the questions. Yeah. So, but you can kind of know from the paper, like what you need, the you questions need to prepare, are. Prepare for, yeah. yeah. And then it's like PBL. So you just sort of like meet up with your mm. firm and go through it. And then you just go and sit the exam. But it's basically like advising a client. That's pretty cool. It's all right. I've yeah. heard that law here is like very different to law at other unis. Like yeah. I had a couple of friends apply to do law here. And they were like, this is like so different to like other places. Like it's really hands on. Like they make mm. us do like client interviews and like mock trials and write, you know, letters and things like that, which like from day one, you have to do stuff like that. Weird. So yeah. it is kind of weird. But no exams, we don't really have any. And in my third year now, I don't have any. That's so good. So I've dodged oh. a bullet. My exams, um, I've had five so far. I think it was like an hour, 40 multiple choice questions. So they were really easy, or at least I thought they were going to be really easy, but... It was like really specific facts, a bit weird trying to like learn it and you don't know what from the lecture, you, they're actually like just giving you extra information whether it's actually stuff you could be tested on. Do you ever have a thing where you're like, I think it's B but I've had three Bs in a yeah, row and I don't, yeah. I don't, it can't be. I always ignore myself, I'm like, you know what, if you think that's the right answer just put it because you could have got one of the other ones wrong. Like, yeah. I got one point where I had like six Bs in a row and I'm like, I definitely haven't got these right. One of my friends said she went through and like changed some of her answers randomly so the pattern worked and I was like, don't do that. That's a risky strategy. Yeah. So for each module, our exams are worth like 25%. And then we've got like a practical report and an essay for each module during first year. So I don't know about second year. Because we mainly have like portfolios as well. Okay. So it's like a diary. They hate me calling it a diary, but it's a diary. <laughs> And you basically say like how you've progressed throughout the term, but then you link it in with like evidence of work that you've done. But that's like half our year is probably like stuff like that. Really? Yeah. Our courses are so different then. Like, yeah. I expect like law and psychology not to be too different. So I guess that brings us to the natural end of everything about comparing our university experiences. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. If you want more collabs in the future, because this is my first collab is on it? my channel, yeah. I only did my first one like the other, a few weeks ago, yeah. so like, it's quite nice. You have the honour of being the first person on my channel. Oh. Yeah. Um, so if you want more collabs, give a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>